Alright you guys, this is Kim Mike84 here back again. Pretty much we're gonna do a leather unboxing and review of the MSI G41 MP26 motherboard. This is an LGA 775 processor, very outdated technology, but it's still good. It's very affordable. It's still going for for very affordable. They only have a couple left micro ATXs. And actually, believe it or not, this has Windows 7 badge on it. means it could run Windows 7 with onboard graphics. So it's good. Let's go back here and show you a little bit what it is. It has USB safeguard, APS, and flash for USB update your BIOS, solid capacitor on PWM, long life, longevity. It, this takes uh, Intel. Core Tool Quad, Dual, Pentium, Dual Core, Sunron D, LG775, two DIMM slots, DDR1333, I don't know about new eggs, falsifying some information, 1333, 1066, 800, at 4 gigs, that's wrong again, it said 8 gigs. Uh, video integrated is Intel GMX, X, X48 on board with the VGA, one PCI Express, I'll show you that. 7.1 surround HD or surround sound 10100 uh, LAN for SATA 3 gigabit per second one PETA ID port uh, 8 USB 4 internal 4 outside that's pretty good for board so it could be a media PC with a lot of USBs and two PCI slots and actually show you the layout right here put this in 1080p just slow it down a little bit let's get this going because I gotta go to work tomorrow. Right here it is. You have your uh, men flash setup, very easy to do. I'll put a link in the description. Your BIOS update, your DOM BIOS, your driver disk. Um, make sure you update the latest on MSI's website. Don't throw the disk, keep it. Your quick start guide, your IED cable, uh, uh, two of them, and SATA. I don't know why there's a red one, just just to have it. Your 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 quick start guide, not quick start, but your guide itself. G40 MP28, G41 MP26. User guide. There you go. So say your I/O plate. Let's get this going. Just uh, just let you guys know. This is a micro ATX board. Not too many left of the ATX, they're kind of hard to find now. Most likely, you find them used only. Anyway, this is the layout. I'm trying to hurry up, sorry you guys. Your, your ideal location 24 pin right here. Very solid capacitor, very good. Your ID, your, your front reset, all your peripherals for the front of it. 4 USB 3 gigabit per second. Your um let's see let go up a little bit up here. Here's the other two headers. USB. You two more. That's four altogether already. You and you have actually floppy disk on the bottom if you guys want to go old school. Um your front audio, HD, whatever, and this is for a memory card reader. Nice to have right here. Um, let's see your uh, PCI uh, Express, two PCI slots, North Bridge, South Bridge, your LG775 socket right here, your four pin, a very weird location. I don't like that. Wish it was up here. And you have how many fan headers? Um, one, two, and three. You have a four and three pin. One for uh, for uh, PWM. Let's see. Anyway, I'll show you the house plate in the back. You have 7.1 surround, 4 USB with uh, your 10100 land. Let's see, VGA, 
parallel serial and USB, not USB, uh, PSU keyboard and mouse. So pretty much this layout of it is very small. I got this for $49.99. I think $47 or $49.99 on Newegg. Some of the stuff I'm kind of mad that it's falsifying, that it's saying that it takes 1333 overclock. Maybe it does. I got to check it. But and it has matte black PCB. I like the look of it. Very affordable, very lightweight for for home theater. I forgot to tell you the dim slot 22. I wish I had a four. So that's really about it. Very, very quick unboxing and very overview of this item. And hopefully uh, I'm going to use a Intel dual core E6400. The process is uh, 2.13 clock deal clock deal version 2 2.13 and see if I can work at, overclock it at 2.5 alright guys you guys hit the like button you guys see you guys a little bit later this is uh, Kill Mike 84